right? So what's going on with the Universal Monsters Cinematic Universe? Is it still happening? Yeah, as far as I know, it's still moving ahead. I haven't heard anything to the contrary. Um, what's the first? I think the first one is The Mummy. Uh, Redux. They've, they've gone through some director changes. I know they moved the release dates a couple of times. Wasn't Dracula the first Dracula one? Dracula twice baked. Wasn't that yeah, the first that one? Well, well no, it, technically one. it wasn't it part. Wasn't, no, really. it wasn't supposed to be part of, this, of the oh, uh, overall universe. Was. And then at the last minute, they decided we should film this one extra scene at the end. It's like a post credit mm -hmm. scene. So if we want to tie it into the larger universe, it is. But that first Dracula movie was not meant to be part of the, this new monsters thing. Now, they may have... I have a feeling they, they shot that last scene to say, if we want to tie it in, now we can. I got a feeling they won't okay. after the reception it had. But they may. They still might. But as, as far as I know, everything's still moving ahead. Have you guys heard any different? No, no but I mean, you know, it's sort of, it is, it, it feels like a cheap, desperate shot from Universal. Like, well, let's jump in on that superhero bandwagon and make the Monster Squad. Well, then just make the Monster Squad. Don't try to tie in all these characters look if they're going to tie it in at least make it horror based it's yeah. not a superhero team with the mummy and dracula all hanging out around a table how do we fight mephisto or it just sounds right, like, less action adventure yeah it sounds back, really corny yeah. to me and it's like i like my horror films like horror films i don't need a superhero horror team and we don't do that they haven't had a shared universe inside of that world would be interesting but i think it goes back to the conversation we're having with dracula here is once the first hit happens and they're able to use the time because I, I agree with you, they're going to stay away from Dracula, whatever the post credit scene is, they're going to stay away from it. And then if the next one's a hit and they can tie it in more, right. then you'll probably start hearing a lot more about it. But they need that first hit. Well, first. I tell you, Marvel is just got that just sitting, waiting to be developed. We, we talked about that on the show a couple maybe heroes a couple episodes ago about Werewolf by Night, Frankenstein. Mm. They have all the Mephisto. They have Ghost Rider. They have Blade. They have this Mor Mor Morbius. They have all these like monsters inside the Marvel Universe where they can easily make it like a cool monster movie that has all of them in so it. So they're a little busy. I was they actually, are busy. I thought it was a great idea for Universal to, to restart that. Look, you got these rich with great historical significance, these all time iconic classic monsters of the big screen. Why are you not doing right, something with right. them? It's it's but it, it's going back to what you said. It's going to all be about how do they execute it? Right. Because if they just do another Brendan Fraser mummy, which, hey, the first one worked, and I, I even like the second one. Yeah, but if you're going to try to do that and build a new series, I don't think it'll work. Get Have a little bit of fun to it, but also have that horror edge to it. It could be really good. It's, it's, could be Van Helsing, it, though. Yeah, no, but it could but be they, Van Helsing, I, I exactly. That's the horror of it. I mean, to me, the horror of it is literally... Don't go action with your horror. Yeah, with you. Go horror. That's what everybody who loves these films, like me specifically, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, you know, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, stick to the basics. It's a horror film. Then you could tie all the other characters yeah. together in a horror universe. Don't go action. It's the dumbest thing. And I pull back remember. on CGI, though, too. Same same thing with uh, what's what's the series with Kate, Win Kate Beckinsale, the one with uh, Underworld. 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 That series kind of jumped the shark, too. I think that they pulled back going in horror direction and scale it. But I think we talked about this like last week with Friday the 13th is go smaller budget with it. You don't go, need a hundred Draculas. You, need, you need one yeah, Dracula. You, I mean, that's right. I mean, people forget the very first alien. How many aliens were there? One. And it was frightening. Right. So, I mean, I don't know. But also, let's not forget that I think it was Universal. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it was Universal. Might have been another studio. They tried going horror again. Remember that Anthony Hopkins Wolfman? Yes, with, uh, it was horrible. Yeah. With Benicio oh, yeah. Del Toro yeah, 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 barely yeah. in it. Yeah. it, it, it they, so they tried doing it, didn't work. What I don't mind is do a horror film that's got action in it, don't make an action comedy with a few elements of horror to it. Right. It all depends on what's their priority. Right. 